Hello, and welcome back to week three of the Oh Happy Day Sampler Sew Along. My name is Cori Yoder of Coriandra Quilts, and I'm excited to share this third block with you. If you look at the quilt behind me, you can see we are making the Oh Happy Day block from the book, Oh Happy Day. And this is actually the quilt that the book was named for, and Oh Happy Day is the cover quilt. So I'm excited to share this block with you. Let's take a look at the pillow. You can see exactly how that block is going to look once we have pieced it. And it's gonna be such fun to add that to our sampler. I have cut out all of my pieces in front of me here. So let's take a look at the cutting that you are going to need. On page 46 of your book is where you will find the cutting information. Now, if I pull this pillow over here, I'm going to talk about the prints a little bit. So the yellow that I have cut here is going to be used for the aqua fabrics. The green is still green, and my background fabrics are the background. Just so when you are choosing your fabrics, you have an idea of which goes where. Now, when you're cutting from my yellow, I've cut one long strip, one medium strip and a square, those are listed under the aqua prints on page 46. From the green, just one long green strip, that's listed under the green print section. And then under the white print section, you need one long strip, two medium strips, and four small strips. To sew these together, we're going to sew first this long strip, and then let me move these out of the way a little bit. We're gonna sew that with the white long strip and then the green long strip. So we're gonna sew these three strips together and we're going to press away from the center. We're pressing towards the dark fabrics. And then you also need to make a strip set using one medium background, your yellow strip or whatever color you're using there and then your other background fabric. You will sew these three together and these get pressed toward the center. Let me go ahead and sew those together and then I will tell you our next step. Okay, the first sewing steps are done. And while I was sewing and pressing, I thought of a couple of tips that I could share with you. First of all, on the pressing, when I am pressing strips, like what I have just sewn together, I prefer to sew those together in pairs and then press that one seam and then add the third strip to that. Uh, I just find that if I sew all of the strips together in one chunk and then take it over to my ironing board and try to iron all of the seams at once, that is when I get those wavy strip sets. I don't know if you've ever made strip sets before, but if you have, um, that's when that waviness tends to happen for me. So I prefer to sew just in pairs and then add one strip, press that seam, add a strip, press that seam. Now, if I would be making a strip set that needed four uh, strips at a time, I would sew one pair together, the second pair together, press both of those, and then sew those together into four strips. So you don't have to just continue adding one at a time. Work in pairs where you can and press just one seam at a time. I think if you've had trouble with waviness, that might help you out with that step. The other thing that I thought about as I was sewing was about this green print down here. Um, when I have a print like this, I will often straighten up the print before cutting out my strips. Um, that's a step that you might not think about taking when you are cutting fabric, and we can't always straighten up our fabrics depending on um, you know, the width of the fabric that we're working with. But this is one time where I was able to straighten this up without too much work. And then all of my print runs, for the most part, pretty straight across rather than having a slant to that print, which I prefer. So that is another thing to keep in mind when you run into prints. It could even just be a large scale polka dot or a gingham or, um, you know, some of those prints that you notice when they're skewed a little bit. Sometimes you'll have room to straighten those up, sometimes you won't. If you have room, it, it can be a nice extra step to take to straighten those prints up. 
So just two tips that I thought about just in that little bit of time that I was sewing that I thought maybe you might not have thought about yourself. So now the next step that we need to take for our strip sets is to subcut these into smaller pieces. This larger strip set is going to get cut into eight segments and you can see the measurement of the segments that you need to cut that into on page 43 of your Oh Happy Day book. And then this smaller strip set gets cut into four segments. So eight segments, four segments, and you can see the width that you need to cut these segments into on page 44 of your Oh Happy Day book. Now, these are a little bit oversized, so you do have room to square up your edges just a little bit before you cut those into your segments, just something to keep in mind. I am going to cut these apart and I'll show you how much extra fabric you're going to have once your segments are cut. And my strip sets are done. Let's take a look at how that looks after they're all cut. So you can see I trimmed off just a little bit off the left side of each set, and then we have some extra little scraps over here on the right side of each set. So you do have room to straighten that up even more on the left side if you wanted to. Um, just get those nice and tidy and cut into the right widths, and then you are ready to move on to the next step. And the next step is sewing these pieces into nine patch blocks. So you're going to take one of your yellow, white, greens, pair it with white, yellow, white, and one more green, white, yellow. Of course, you may be using different colors, but I think that makes great sense. So you're gonna go ahead and sew all of those together. These seams are going to get pressed away from the center, and you are going to make a total of four of these nine patch units. And you can see on page 44 of the Oh Happy Day book what your nine patch units will measure once you have sewn them together. So I'm gonna go over to my sewing machine, and I'm gonna go ahead and make those four nine patch units and then we just have one more step and we'll have a completed block. And just that quick, those nine patches are sewn together. If you have never pieced a nine patch using a strip piecing method, you're going to find that this goes together a lot quicker than cutting just one square at a time and sewing one square at a time. And it's also more accurate. So if you ever get the chance to do strip piecing, on a quilt, it's a game changer for sure and a time saver. I remember one of my first quilts that I made was a postage stamp quilt with one inch squares. The whole entire quilt was just one inch squares. And that could have been very intimidating, but because it was a strip pieced quilt, it came together very easily. Let's take a look at my nine patches down here. I have laid them out with the remaining background pieces as well as that yellow square. And you can see, probably see what we need to do for our next step. I'm gonna flip this over so you can see my pressing. Those two center seams are pressed towards the center and I press those the same as I did my strip sets. I will sew together two into a pair and then press the one seam and sew the other three squares together and then press that as well. And then you can see how we need to sew everything together. So we're going to sew together row number one, the top row, these get pressed, the seams get pressed towards the center. This center row will get pressed away from the center and then our bottom row gets pressed towards the center. Um, you can see a complete block layout with those pressing instructions on page 44 of the Oh Happy Day book. And then these final two seams will get pressed towards the center. And that is also on page 44. Let me go do that and then I will show you the completed block. And we have a completed Oh Happy Day block. And let's take a look at this a little bit closer. As I was sewing this together, I was thinking, oh, I need to make sure and tell them that they need to orient these nine patches in the right direction with the yellows in the outside corner so that it makes this nice X shape. And then wouldn't you know, I proceeded to rotate one of my nine patches and I had greens in the corners 
and I thought that is exactly what I need to tell you not to do. <laughs> and even though I was thinking about it, I still did it anyways. So this block isn't hard to piece, but do pay attention to the orientation of your nine patches as you start sewing this together, because it's very easy to get that rotated, just a quarter turn, and then you don't have this X shape that you want to have for this block. So as long as you orient everything the way it's supposed to, those last few steps should be pretty easy to sew together. Here is what the back of the block looks. Those final two seams are pressed towards the center. Everything should nest beautifully for you and your block will finish at 12 and a half inches as it is here. So that wraps up today's video. It was fun sharing with you. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. And I look forward to being back with you again next Saturday for another Oh Happy Day Sampler Sew Along block. Have a wonderful day.